Before we administer chest compressions, the most important thing to do is to have air entry. So you need to manage your airway, make sure you've got chest lift, i.e. air going into the lungs. Once we've identified that we've got air going into the lungs and we've got the chest to move, and the heart rate still hasn't improved, then we're going to administer chest compressions. There are two methods of administering chest compressions and I'm going to demonstrate both of them for you today. To find your hand position for chest compressions, you have imaginary markers. Imaginary line between the two nipples, a finger breadth below on the sternum and that's where you're going to place your thumbs. You're going to encase your hands round the chest and you're going to push a third of the way down. And you're going to repeat this three times and then give a ventilation breath. So, one, two, three, ventilation breath. One, two, three, ventilation breath. One, two, three. You continue this cycle on for 30 seconds and then you reassess your baby. If you continue on with chest compressions, there may need to be a situation where you administer resuscitation drugs. In that event, you will need to access the umbilical cord. Therefore, if my hands are around the chest, it will be difficult for the other person to access the cord. So we're going to demonstrate the second method for administering chest compressions. Same landmarker between the two nipples finger breadth below and again on the sternum. This is also the technique that you would use if you're on your own. Again pushing a third of the way down and you're going to repeat this three times and then a ventilation breath. One, two, three, ventilation breath. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Again you would continue on for 30 seconds and reassess your baby.